is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your warden, Dimitri Shine, and today I want to talk about uh, Android 21 Zenkai, specifically, uh, mainly just like the state of the Android team and what I think the team actually needs. I'm going to be having some matches over on the uh, in the middle of the screen here and if I don't talk long enough to actually you know get through all the matches I'll just let them all play out anyway so you can watch the matches after I'm done um, but with Android 21 Zenkai out I do have her fully maxed out I have been using her as you can clearly see and honestly I feel like she didn't exactly bring what her teams needed now, I don't want this to be misconstrued as me saying Android 21 is bad. She is not. Android 21 is a phenomenal unit. And honestly, she's, she's pretty much back where she was when she first came out. Like, she is a go-to damage dealer. Between all the healing she does, which enables her to stay on the battlefield longer, to her now permanent stackable buffs, to the, you know, influx of damage buffs that she got, her high-ass stats, she is very good she's a very good damage dealer she's even a decent staller because her defenses are not horrible uh, the defensive stats themselves are good enough that she doesn't just get incinerated by everything so she, she's definitely a very good unit but she didn't exactly bring what her teams needed and specifically i want to talk about the android team because that's the one i've been using and i still gotta say in terms of like what they do in this meta 17 is still by far the best unit on the team like 21 may be the highest damaging unit on the team but in terms of what they actually bring to the team 17 is still the best and he kind of needs to not be like 17 is fantastic and with how good 17 actually is in order for the android team to actually be where it needs to be he kind of needs to be the worst <laughs> at least the worst of the core members um the team i'm running the both tournament of power androids and 21 i do feel is the best possible team you could run for the androids uh, tag and while it is very good 17 and 18 are both great units 21 is a great unit i i just th there's always this feeling that no matter what i'm still fighting an uphill battle and i think the biggest reason is the team's lack of cover changes and lack of nullifying cover changes. I could be wrong, I don't remember if LF Cell does this, but if he doesn't, then there is not one, not one single unit on the entire Android tag that nullifies special cover change. None of them. Again, unless LF Cell does it and I just don't remember, there is not one unit on the entire Androids tag that nullifies special cover change. And in a meta where every single team you're fighting has at minimum two cover change units, you have to have that. First of all, 17 is the only usable unit right now with uh, cover change. I mean, LF Cell is usable, don't get me wrong, but you're not running Cell over 21. So in terms of the core units, 17 is the only one with a cover change that's already bad um and the other two units don't really have that much in the ways of like cover cut to really enable them to just tank or endurance in fact i don't think there are i also don't think there are any android characters that have endurance there's a revival there's revival cell but i don't think there are any that have endurance and you're not using revival cell in this meta with ultra gogeta he will get one shot twice <laughs> both times he'll get one shot one shot that's one that's two that's one i'm stupid but um realistically the team just needs more they need more utility loe has the same problem of lf full power frieza being pretty much all of the team's utility uh the lf zenkai frieza he's a good tank decent support decent damage like he does a little bit of everything but he's not truly like amazing at anything and then the pod, the new pod freezer, the free one, he's also a very good damage dealer. He's got blast armor on the strike cards, very useful. Um, green card is very valuable, but they're just missing. They're just missing that those couple few things, you know, like androids, no one nullifies endurance just for existing. Um, Blue 18 super nullifies endurance, which I don't think a lot of people actually know. 
but they don't have uh, many ways of nullifying endurance. They don't have endurance themselves. They don't have a reliable <laughs> revival unit. They don't have any cover changes. They can't nullify any cover changes. It's just, oh, the, the team is very good at doing damage. If you can actually manage to get a long combo in with 18 and 21, like you start a combo with 18, use a few cards, she's building up damage to absurd degrees. Pop a green, that's a whole new hand of cards. You go ahead, swap, use one more card, swap into 21, she gets another card, and then you just keep this train going. If you can actually manage to do that, you can pretty much win any match. But the issue is actually being able to do that. No one is able to actually nullify the cover changes necessary to actually keep a combo going long enough for these high damaging units to actually do the high damage they want to do. It's, it's just, it's not... I, I won't say it's not good. Like, they're not god-awful teams that you just can't run in PvP. Like, you just cannot win matches under any circumstances. But you, you've probably already noticed by now that there's a couple matches where 17 just kind of carries because his ability to manipulate the enemy's sub count is just so valuable. If you had 17 manipulating sub count, you had 21 as this special cover change uh, nullifying high damaging unit, and then you had 18 there as the support, um, and maybe one of them had endurance. If, if they had given 21 the ability to nullify special cover change and maybe endurance, I know giving 21, I know giving a unit endurance on a Zenkai is actually, I, I was going to say very rare. I think it's only ever happened once, and that was with Legends Road Goku. So, it, it, it seems a bit broken. I don't really think 21 herself needs endurance because of how good she is, but her teams really needed it. Her teams needed more than what she was offering. That, that's, just, that's just my thing. I, I don't know. 21's a damn good unit, definitely Zenkai her. If you want to run her on androids, regen, even girls, you can do it. Uh, you can definitely win matches with her, but in terms of, you know, the grand scope of the teams she's on, she did not bring really anything to the teams that, that she's on that they actually needed. None of her teams really needed this high damaging unit. What they needed was some utility. They needed you know, may maybe some priority greens, not the not the AOE greens, but I mean just like the, the, the Ultra Goku type of green card, just maybe not a long animation. <laughs> they needed to be able to nullify some special cover change, they needed more cover changes, like they, they just, they, they needed more. Uh, they, they needed more in their kits to actually really be able to stand up to the top, to the top teams in the game right now. But let me know what you guys think of 21 if you have been able to use her in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the Asylum for the next video. Peace. ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
怪我をする前に帰るんだね。